Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today I got the remaining parts of the Pat McGrath collection, the, the pink palette and the single blush and single highlighter. So I want to show you the single blush and single highlighter and then do an eye look real quick using the one mascara I never used, the Aqua Dream. So this here is what the highlighter looks like, the case. And then you open it up, you just pull it apart. There's no clicky thing or anything to push onto. And this is what it looks like. It is so beautiful, you all. I mean, so beautiful. I don't know if you can, the detail, the, I mean, the bossing, chef's kiss. It is gorgeous. I am wearing it today. And when I first looked at it, I really thought, oh no, that's going to be way too dark, right? Way too dark for me. And mm, if I go lightly, there it is right there, swatched on my skin tone. But if I go lightly, it, it's not that bad, really, you know? Like, it's not when you blend it in. So that's the highlighter. And then this is the blush in Nude Venus 2. Y'all, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Again, the embossing, the detail. I mean, it's gorgeous. And this is the blush I'm wearing, and it's gorgeous. Again, gorgeous. Both of these, so impressed with. Let me swatch the color for you. hope you can see it yeah okay so that's the color on my skin tone I mean it is so pretty you all and the both of them combined is beautiful I mean absolutely beautiful so that is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today is the highlighter and the blush I really did build the blush up I just wanted to see how dark I could get it so I kind of look like a clown I get that so you know but, let's go ahead and with the eye look, I'm going to use the palette from this year, the uh, Celestial Nirvana, Nirvana, and again, this is what it looks like right here. It's just beautiful. Alright, so the first shade I'm going to go into, oh yeah, I forgot about that, they're on the back and I don't know how to read them, so we're pointing again, yay for us. We're going to go into this brown right here. And I'm going to start with that shade. Also, I am not using real hair brushes because I am curious to see how this will perform. Because I am trying shadows, you know, with different brushes just to see. I will say as far as, you know, for me, it is easier to use natural hair, like my refer, when using these palettes, but that don't mean you can't use, you know, synthetic hair either. And, you know, if you find you are having issues with application, it could very well be your tools. But I'm just sort of laying this color down just as a transition shade. because I'm going straight into that dark blue in this palette because I'm, I was curious to test it. Okay. Oh, I dropped the brush. Hold on, I gotta get it. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this really dark navy blue right here. And again, using, this is like a I don't know what this is. BH4. And I'm going to start that right here. In the outer portion of my eye. And blend. The reason I did pick the blue, because here's the truth. Some of these shades I'm not going to use at all, right? We know this. 
one I was using it because I really wanted to use that aqua marine color and I was trying to come up with a, like a color scheme to kind of use that mascara that's number one and then number two was is I have seen some reviews obviously of this palette and people were very happy they weren't happy with this at all this shade and I'm cu I was curious on why number one and I think it's because, like, I'm not getting any, like, and again, I'm, I, I am using synthetic brushes, so please keep this in mind, but I'm not, like, getting any kind of patchiness, anything like that, um, but if you've seen this shade in the palette it is a very dark dark blue now I'm not saying you couldn't like line with it maybe and get that shade but I did try to build this shade I did and I did it very slowly because well you know dark colors in me aren't friends and I did like if I kept blending it was almost like it just kept disappearing to the same shade almost you know but not the shade that's in the pan I, I don't know how to really explain it like I don't have the patchiness or anything it's just not the shade that's in the pan but that's why I keep trying to emphasize so much that I'm using synthetic brushes and that could very well play a part in that on why that's doing that I do not know but you know like I think it's still a very pretty color as far as that goes though and I think it blended nicely also like I don't have any issues with it I'm not seeing any issues anyway like my blending skills are not the best by no means but I mean I think the eye turned out okay in the end all right then I decided well I'm gonna go into this dark purple right here and put it on the outer corner just to see if I could build up some you know like at first I thought oh it might look like I have a black eye to be honest but it actually the two colors actually look pretty good together to be honest and it, I won't lie, it did kind of shock me on how good they do look together. Because I really was scared that it would look like a black eye. I'm not even going to lie to you. And again, my eyes are old. And they're wrinkly. And they got creases. And all that good stuff, you know? And you may never even use these shades if you purchase this palette. You may not even want these particular shades that I am using today. But I do want you to see that the performance of them so far, I mean, I, I the purple's fine. Like, I've used it several different times. The blue is the only one I'm kind of questioning. But I don't really want to give it too hard of a time because I am using the synthetic brushes you know so I really you know I'm kind of torn with that one a little bit because of that but all in all like I still think it did good for what I'm doing and there was a there is a lot of back and forth I'm going back into that blue now I do think though that it does blend away I'm not gonna lie on you on that you know what I mean I do think that much and I, I think that I did somebody using wrapper brushes and this particular shade and it was doing the same thing but at the same time it's like unless you wanted it that dark in which case you just don't blend it as much but if you didn't want it that dark, it's like, I don't, 
there's still no problem as far as I'm concerned. It really just depends on what you want, you know what I mean? In a shadow. Okay, I'm going to go back into that dark purple shade again. And lay it down. And I didn't get any fallout or anything using these shades. But I think that, you know, the purple is beautiful. I mean, it really is. I, like I said, I've played with it several different times. I'm just going to run that purple along the lower lash line here. I will say the look didn't come out the way I thought it would, but I'm not mad at it either, to be honest, you know? It's one of those looks that I'm like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either you know what I mean but that's a me problem that just is what it is now I'm going to go into this blue shade right here this aqua shade and I'm going to place it all over the lid I'm just patting it on I'm not using anything with it also if I was you know like not filming I would have used the Pat McGrath artistry wand because I do enjoy that and I do think it helps with her shadows I know some people don't and, you know they have valid opinions but I actually like it and I do respect the people that you know I may not agree with them but I respect their decisions and their opinions and I even take it you know to where it's like why do they not like it and then usually the reasoning for it is correct but that doesn't mean that I don't like it for that reason you know what I mean I don't know why people don't like the artistry wand I think it's because they just don't think it does anything personally and it's not worth the money but I I think it does something especially from a beginner standpoint because I don't know what I'm doing you know they could have all the tricks in the world on stuff and technically that is just to keep your eyeshadow from falling down your face and stuff and it does I think it does do that and I think that it keeps the shadows lasting all day long personally I'm gonna go into this light lavender color and we're gonna pop it in the inner corner go and then for the eyeliner I actually what did I do with that because oh here it is I think yeah here it is it is the making waves and I had a really hard time putting this on it was almost like it was dried out and then I had to like scratch it against my hand to sort of like maybe warm it up I guess and then it worked fine on my waterline but up until that point it wasn't working for some reason and that's the first time I've had a color pop liner do that to me to be honest okay now we're going to go into the uh aqua dream yeah the Pat McGrath mascara and I hadn't used this until today this color that is I've used the other two the pink and the purple or the blue I mean I wish you'd come out with a purple one. I bet that would be beautiful. And I use this for my top lashes and my bottom. And it looks like it's a lot on the wand. Like really wet and goopy. I guess in a way it is. And I don't know why exactly it's like that. 
but good just because it's the first time I'm using it. But it does, I mean, you can see what it's doing to my lashes. It's not as dark as I thought it would be, to be honest. I think it'd be cute on the lower lash line. Maybe not my top, though. But I did do both just to, so you could see. I'm going to use my regular mirror for my bottom lash line. I think if I ever use this shade in a look again it would just be for the bottom lashes to be honest because I kind of like my top lashes being a little darker than this it is vibrant for sure The wand wasn't so big. I would actually like this mascara on my bottom lash line, period. Or my bottom lashes, period, to be honest. I think it makes my bottom lashes look really good. I mean, it makes my top lashes look good, too, to be honest. Like, you can see that I have lashes, which, you know, I don't. <laughs> but you can see that I have them. But you can see that it's not as dark. Like, you have to be up for me to actually see the color, I guess, is what I'm getting at. But, I think the overall look, it came together. It's not what I thought it would be or what it would look like. But, you know, in the end, that's okay. Um, I don't really know what color story she was thinking with this particular color. That's my only issue because I, I just don't know. What color story... And I haven't watched any, like, tutorials or anything from her. I would love to, but I haven't yet. I haven't had time to do anything. But I don't know exactly, like, what color story she saw with the aqua marine color. Because I really thought it would be this shade here, this one I used for my lid. But on the lid, it looks way more blue but that may be because of the purple. It's like a, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because I think the dark blue one would actually look really good with this look personally. But I mean, to each their own also. So, you know, if you've done a look using that with this, that, you know, and you liked it, that's great. Like I said, I like the look overall. It's not exactly what I thought it would be by no means, but that doesn't mean that it's not good either. I'm trying to make sure I got both eyes the same. Of course I didn't. I don't even know why I tried, but I do. But this is the final look using the eyeshadow palette and of course but the main thing was the blushes the blush and the highlighter and I did get the remaining you know four blush and highlighter palette I will review that tomorrow but as for today like I really like I'm not disappointed in these two things by no means I'm not disappointed in the palette I'm not even disappointed in the mascara it's just not for me you know what I mean so the mascara itself is good color is good just not for me but these two these are for me I'm excited for these two these two are nice now does this outrank my what is that one called the allure lunar allure shade no no lunar allure I still think is my favorite to be honest but I still like this one so I do still like this one. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. I have wasted enough of your time. I will let you go. I hope this video helped in some way, inspired you, made you maybe pull out a palette or, 
you know, maybe try out a different mascara color, anything. Um, or maybe if you were thinking about the new blush and highlighter, although if you are going to purchase it, you may want to now if you want it by Christmas because the shipping sucked on this order. Prior to that, though, the shipping was really good. So I'm really kind of disappointed again because it took so long to get that. You know what I mean? But that is all I have. I will see you in the next one. Um, oh, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I upload every day but Sunday, but I have been uploading on Sundays because so much is coming in. And that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.